Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be doing post processing for our map. This is very important and it can change the look of the game dramatically. Before we get started just a shout out to Brackies. His video on post processing is amazing and if you want to learn more about it I suggest you go check his video out because he explains this much better uh, than I do. There's links to that in the description. So first way to changing the look of the game is changing the directional light and then change the, changing the color. Since I want to go for like a morning type feel, I'll change the color to a bright orange, to orangey color. And this kind of makes it look like the sun is uh, rising. And then I'll change the intensity to 1.5. And this is um, much better. Next I'll go edit, project settings, and player. Here I can change the color space for gamma to linear. This will make the colors a bit darker. And then also I want to go edit, project settings, quality. And here I want to change the level of quality to ultra. I also want to disable anti-analyzing since we're going to add that later. So just disable it. Next is the actual post processing. So if you go to the asset store, you can go ahead and find the Unity's official post processing asset, which is called post processing stack. It's completely free and it should be compatible with anything you, you're using except it's not working in the newest Unity version which is 2018.3 I think. After you import this you can go to the main camera and add a post processing behavior component and then go to your um, project here and create a post processing profile. I'll call this one my post processing pro my post processing I guess and then I'll go to the main camera and assign it to this post processing behavior now if you click on it you'll you'll get a bunch of options first off I'll do some color grading this can help sometimes you can uh, use a tone mapper that's called filmic and it makes things much uh, better you can also create your own but I think this one uh, works fine also want some ambient occlusion. You can change the intensity to whatever you want. I think one is fine. Of course we have to enable anti-analyzing since we disabled it in the quality settings. You can use either temporal anti-analyzing or fast approximate which is default. After adding some anti-analyzing you can see that everything is much smoother and looks a lot better. There's still a few settings that we need. You can add eye adaptation which will adapt uh, the lightness or the brightness of the colors. Add some bloom. I'll change the value of the softening to 0 0.7 and the radius to 5 I guess. Also I want some motion blur. Maybe 150 will work the best. Yeah that's probably the best. Also enable the vignette and uh, I'll just change the intensity to around 0 0.3 I guess. That's That's good. And that's basically it. I think this is it for the post processing. You can add the depth of field. I will not, but I think the game looks much smoother and much better right now. So this is it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully it helped you. If it did, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and uh, hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.